everyone, you're watching VGO40 and this is VGO Girl. And today we're taking a look at World of Kings for the iOS. And we are looking at the Scarlet Wolf dungeon, the Scarlet Wolf Lair dungeon. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go through this and the three bosses here really quick. Okay, so to begin with, let's go ahead and run through the dungeon and just clear all of these little creatures all the way through to the first boss. Now it's pretty straightforward. You just go uh, follow the, the path and kill the creatures. It's not very hard. Okay, so here we are at the first boss. And I think as with any World of King dungeon, it's important to read the prompts. So here at the first boss, it's not particularly challenging. You just kind of go through and avoid the yellow areas on the ground. So here, you know, we have the first one. He throws these circular things out and they come back. I mean, we've seen this before in other dungeons, so that's not particularly difficult. Just avoid the yellow circles if possible and all that sort of thing. Okay, as we've seen in other dungeons, when you have the little light circle with the arrows around it to go stand next to a player, go stand next to a player to share the damage. And now you'll see the switch to the target, the other target, to the minions. Make sure you switch to the two little minions here. And uh, you can then tank those or do DPS to those. Avoid, again, the little attacks. Now this is the only thing that might be a little bit tricky. See this kind of like reddish circle that comes up? You want to pull everybody out of it because nobody's really receiving any more than one damage when you're in there. So pull the minions and the guy out of there if possible. Otherwise it goes away in just a second. But that's pretty much it for this boss. I mean, really it's just attack the minions when it says to, pull them out of the circle if you can, uh, the red dome, and avoid the AOE damage things. So it's really actually is a fairly easy boss fight. Um, again, just kind of read those prompts a little bit. Now moving on to the second boss, again just clear all the mobs on the way there. I, I think I'm going to skip over some of this because there's no need for you guys to have to watch all of the mobs being cleared. Just kill them and move on. Okay we're almost at the second boss. I just want to point out that these are the mobs right before the second boss. Kill them and then pull the mobs on the other side of the boss before you do the boss. The first time I did this somebody ran up and pulled the boss before we could pull those mobs and they do come with them. It wasn't hard to clear them out, but you probably don't want to be fighting like six extra mobs when you just want to focus on the boss. Okay, this boss I find slightly trickier than the other two bosses in this dungeon and not because of anything difficult. There, you just, it, again, it's a straight fight. You just kill it, you avoid the AoE uh, damage, is really just a charge towards you. Um, he does summon two additional little guys, one and then the next later on that look just like him. You just avoid their damage. Um, if they don't actually attack you, it's just the like charging and stuff like that that they do. And it's really not hard to avoid. With the circle thing, just kind of stay to the middle. You don't want to be too far out. Um, the only thing you really have to watch out for in this boss is see, you'll see this message up here where you're supposed to go into the circle. Now, this is not something you would think of because unless you actually read the message, you need to go into the circle to get to block the meteor falling in order to not have everybody take damage. Now, everybody really should go into that uh, meteor, that meteor circle, um, but nobody ever thinks to, so I always just go in there. But there is a chance if you have a burning debuff um, or during burning buff, you'll, you'll end up dying in there. So about once every fight, because nobody else seems to go into the circle, I will die and have to res because nobody else will go in there. Now, if you don't go into the circle, you take a large amount of damage for everybody. So if you die a lot on this boss, it's probably because nobody's reading the prompts in your groups and going into this circle. Okay, moving right along, we're gonna go over to the third boss. Now to get to the third boss, um, once this fight is done, just go ahead and clear out the mobs. Um, we're gonna skip some of the mobs on the way there and just go ahead and hit the last boss. Okay, moving right along to the last boss, 
Um, he's pretty straightforward. I, I didn't find him terribly difficult, but I did wipe once on him out of all the times. I'm not even really sure what happened. So I think it's important to kind of go through and understand what's going on with this. Now, if we look at the last boss, um, uh, I'm going to skip through to where there's a good section that you can actually see what's going on. He does have one attack that's kind of different from all the other ones. And if you uh, go through this section where they're doing the, you know, regular attacks you have to avoid, um, there is this section where he summons all these kind of things in a circle around him. Now, you're really not going to be able to do any damage to him while he does it, so just kind of hang back and stay out of the way. But if you look, these things are kind of crossing the circle in the center. And then once they stop, you need to attack them. And one of them will have kind of like be the special trigger that once you kill that, whatever special one it is, they all disappear. So you see that they all just disappeared. I've had some times where we've killed almost every single one around the circle before they all disappear. In this particular run through of the dungeon, I had them both times the first guy we killed disappeared they all disappeared so you just have to watch for that section to make sure you kill the guys um, around him because you can't do any damage to him until they're all gone okay so the first part of this fight is pretty much just a repeat of what you've already done now at one point he kind of like does this weird little thing and he turns into a wolf now once he turns into a wolf I find the rest of the fight actually really easy. I don't know why they turn him into this big, bad looking wolf. Um, he does do this thing where he kind of pounces on each of the characters. Um, they'll get the little yellow circle around you and he'll pounce on each one of the characters, do a minor amount of damage. But other than that, really, it, it's really no big deal for the rest of the fight. So just kind of go and um, finish out the boss and you'll be done with the dungeon. All right, you're watching VGO40 and this is VGO Girl. And please take a moment if you found this video helpful to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time for more World of Kings videos. Thank you and have a great day.